everyone welcome to day six of this series of arm brooches this is from ivy and the inky butterfly by johanna bassford and we're using polychromos pencils which i always forget to tell you so never mind it's always in the description so if you're confused as to what i'm looking or what i'm using sorry look in the description and it will be there right we have quite a complex looking brooch today but I'm going to try and simplify it um, and and work through it there's what I think is quite a lot of metal work framing the different bits so I'm going to start there now we've done um, a gold and two silver already metal work I'm actually going to do this one in gold because we've got silver right here and we can do I think we'll do a really really simple gold um, because we haven't got a lot of space, particularly on these pieces, to even put a gold in. Um, in fact, I might do this. Let's do it a slightly redder colour. So this is a burnt sienna. Can you see? It's really difficult. And we're going to use that as our darkest colour and see how that comes out. So I'm going to use it at the base, each end, can you see, of that. I know that one's thicker and that one's thinner. They are supposed to be thin. It's um, tricky. And then a bit here and a bit here. Yeah. And just work our way around this central area. Yes. We're using pulling down the little bits. I'm hoping it's going to work. I've not tried this before. We'll see what happens. It could all just explode in a big pile of gold. Don't think so. Right. Now we've done the centre, we've got these loopy bits going around here. It sort of goes around in groups. So what I'm going to do is think about where do I want the lightest part of this? I think I'm going to do a bit here at the bottom of each of these. I'm just going to go all the way around doing this first because I know that's what I want to do. But then, where do I go? Well, I think on these, I might go here, the darker bit, in there, and in there. Same on this one. Um, but on these, hmm, I may just take that up a bit more and make the light a bit up here. Now we have these ones in between. I'm just going to do it here and here so it's the lightest bit is there. Where are they? Oh, there's some up here as well and here. Make sure you go all the way to the edge if you can. I mean, I'm doing the best I can. I can't really see that well. Let's get my speck sorted out. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to do. That's the main thing. And it's never going to be perfect, even if my eyesight was perfect. Nobody is. Nothing is. Yeah. Right. Now I'm going to go straight to green gold. My son is having a good laugh next door. And um, extend these. Those, that's it. Just those two colours. Okay. We might put another colour on some of it. It all depends on how it looks, really. So just extend that a bit. So the green gold covers the sienna, but you can certainly see which bits have the sienna under which bits don't, which is the whole point. So this is going to come all the way up to here and fade up there at the top like that, whereas that's going to have a bit of shine down there. Oh, my voice is going, <laughs> I've been talking too much. Never. Mm. I swear I could talk all day long. It's a good job for me to have doing this. Just talk, talk, talk. I 
do run out of talk though, which is odd when I'm talking to people I don't tend to, but then I guess they talk back. <laughs> I sometimes let people get a word in their way, sometimes, but uh, when you're just talking to yourself, no one butts in. I guess that perhaps that's why people do lives, they can get a bit of comments from other people, give them something. It doesn't stop you being able to talk, you still have to talk, but it gives you a prompt something to talk about. I'm going to do that bit at the top there and leave the white just in that bottom area. Same here. Just so that it doesn't look like I've forgotten to colour that bit at the top. I don't know why I get so worried about it looking like I've forgotten to colour it. What does it matter if I have? Uh, now we. I thought I'd missed one. I just had this feeling. I'll come back in a bit. Just working my way around now. I'm in a rhythm. Did you get like that? And that one I've missed. Did you get in a rhythm? I hope so. There we go. And oops, let's get the um, sienna back. Whoop. Burn sienna. Not that you can read that anyway. Uh, it's that one there. And that one there. This one. Was there a third one? No. But I did think that I wanted to spread the colour up here a little bit more. Like that. Yes, there we go. It's actually looking quite pretty, I think. Back to our green gold, just to finish off those ones that I forgot. And then we have to put some gemstones in. Now... I'm having a think about these, these round things. I think they're clasps holding a gemstone in place. So I am going to colour those in with my green gold like that. All of them. All the way round. I still haven't decided what colour gemstones to do. Just done green and red over here. We've got blue up here. You can't see what I'm pointing at. Um, let's do orange. Yeah. Now I think what colour is that? Is that an orange? The uh, yeah, dark cadmium orange. I think that will be our darkest. I can't you can't see it? Dark cadmium orange. Give it a sharpen. And I'm thinking all the way around the edge of this centre one. And then just sort of fade it in a bit. Yeah. Like that. Just a bit of a lighter bit. In there, that's it. Um, now these, I'm going to make it look as if there's a bit behind the clasp. Like that. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this bit yet. That's why it's been ignored. Now the on the outside these you could put gemstones in or you could leave them empty as if they're just some iron um iron gold decorative loops rather than actually being part of a gem rather than actually holding a gemstone. I'm not really sure what to do. I can make those gemstones. As I am also not sure what to do for the background of these. Either. So I'm just going with the flow. So that was the dark cadmium orange. Maybe I'll use the regular cadmium orange for the next bit. There we go. I think that might be the best. 
that's occurring over what I've done before to start with makes it more solid and then taking it in towards the centre like that. Now we, I feel that this bit might be I'm not sure if these facets would be a different colour so I think I'm going to do these facets different and then this and sort of shine on the top On these larger ones, we can make it a bit lighter in the middle by putting more layers around the edge. On the little ones, we can't really do a lot. So, going more layers around here and then just a little bit in the centre. I say we're just covering up what we've got, really. Hmm. Now that centre bit, I think I'm going to grab this orange glaze to do these facets and I'm going to sharpen it, it's far too blunt and I'm going to make them darker at the bottom and a bit lighter towards the centre if I can. Quite small and fiddly, but I shall do my best. And then for the top, like that, it's a bit like shine. Now, I've got to decide what to do with all these. Hmm. Um, I'm wondering whether to go with a yellow whether that's going to look strange. Hmm, I think I will go with the yellow. I'm going to go with this dark cream yellow. It's quite orangey. And I'm going to make it look like it's... Hmm, I sort of want it to look like shiny metal. I know what I'm going to do, like we did with our green leaves. So, dark here. And then fade it towards the middle. So we've got like a shine. I'm going to try and do that all the way around. Because it wouldn't be nothing there. Unlike these, which I might just leave blank. These need something here to support these stones and bits and pieces. the way around the same. The shine's in the same place all the way around, hopefully. Oh, I missed one out. I don't know why I did that. I'll go back to it now. <laughs> hopefully it'll sort of make sense. The shine's in the same place. Hmm. It's a bit too pale, I think, that shine. Make it a little bit smaller. that white gap a little less all the way around that one wasn't too big anyway there now you could put gemstones in here I'm gonna leave it I think it looks okay without I am going to get some white pen to do some shine on the um, gemstones that we have done. So these little ones are going to get a dot. Maybe I should have used the poly. I've done it now. These are going to get a little bit. It's quite hard to fit it in between. 
the um, the sort of bits that are sort of holding it. I could do each side like that. I'm hardly breathing. And here, hmm, tempted to do a bit there, and there. There we go. I think I am going to leave that one like that. So there we are. We've got one more to go, so please tune in tomorrow and uh, have a look, even if you haven't been colouring at all. Um, you'll be able to see what I've decided to do with it. I have got no idea what I'm doing with it yet, so we will have to wait and see. But thank you so much for watching. I'm um, hoping that you have a really super day and happy colouring.